Hello and welcome back to Hold Hanley Weather. Today we're going to be taking a look at Winter Storm Mabel. As you can see, it's going to drop some pretty good snowfall numbers in the Midwest. But first, let's take a look at where it's coming from. As you can see right here, there's already a little trough going through the Midwest. That's not Winter Storm Mabel. Winter Storm Mabel is what's going to happen when this trough you see off of Montana combines with that low sitting off of the west of Texas. That low, by the way, is going to drop some nice snow into New Mexico and Texas, but we'll look at that in a second. So that little cutoff low off of Texas is going to recombine with the trough, and this is going to do two things. One, it's going to pull that trough even farther south. You can see those purples, that indicates really cold temperature, arctic blast, negative, negative degrees temperature. That's going to bring that cold temperature even farther south, and then it's also going to bring a bunch of moisture and energy into the storm. And what's going to happen? That moisture and energy is going to get dropped right on the Midwest. And as you can see, the temperatures are nice and cold. So you could be getting some pretty nice snowfall numbers there. We'll take a look at that in a second. Then it moves off into the Northeast. As you can see here, northeast a little bit warmer. They don't get they don't get those purple temperatures. They do a little bit on Friday morning, but that's going to be something we'll look at later. So the big view of what the precip is going to do right now, you can see there's heavy rainfall in the southeast. That's bad news because there's already flooding there, saturated soils. That's going to bring even more rain. And as you can see, as I click through here, that's not going to stop anytime soon. Winter Storm Mabel is going to have a band of rain that goes from Texas up till Pennsylvania. I said that weird. And then it's going to drop snow in the northern locations where that air is cold. So you see the first thing that happens, snow in New Mexico, snow in Texas, and then that low is going to start moving up. First it, you see it's hitting Louisiana with some heavy rainfall, some snow in the northern portions, and then it recombines, dropping some pretty good rates on the Midwest, and then this map is indicating some pretty good rates on New York and Massachusetts. And the really cool feature of this map is that strip of rain that's just getting pulled up from the Gulf of Mexico. And what that's doing is two things. It's bringing in a bunch of moisture, and it's also bringing warm air, which rises, creates clouds, storms, rain, hail, lightning, all the above. So it's a pretty exciting week of weather. I think Winter Storm Mabel is gonna, it's gonna be worth following at least. There's gonna be heavy rainfall, heavy snowfall, kind of got the entire mix of what we're looking for. So the first thing it's gonna do, it's gonna hit the south. New Mexico and Texas, you can see you're already getting some snow associated with this low in northern parts of New Mexico. Well, that's gonna move farther south and into Texas with some pretty heavy rates that's maybe 0 0.2, 0 0.4 inches of snow per hour. And then rain in the southern portions of the state, as would be expected. That low kind of hangs out around there. It doesn't just move up right away. Kind of moves back down for a second and then comes back into New Mexico, bringing even more snow on Wednesday morning. And then by Wednesday at about 7 in the morning, it's moved up, bringing some snow into Oklahoma heavy rainfall rates for the eastern side of Texas. You guys are going to be getting 0.5 inches per hour of rain early Wednesday morning. And the same goes for parts of Oklahoma and Arkansas. That low then moves off and really organizes into just a perfect strip going from Louisiana all the way up to the northeast. And that's just going to be like a wave bringing heavy rain, thunderstorms, hail, lightning, all the way across the entire eastern part of the country. And then that one is gone by Thursday. So the south, you guys are good by Thursday. Let's look at the totals you can be expecting. New Mexico, you guys are getting the bulk of this. Five to eight inches by, this is by Tuesday night. So that's tonight. You guys could have five to eight inches of snow, maybe even a foot or over a foot in some places. Texas, you're gonna be more like one to three inch range maybe getting up to four in the colder, higher elevation places. Here you can see right on that Texas-New Mexico border, there could be one spot that gets five. 
and then that's gonna move on up. Oklahoma, you're getting you're getting a little piece of this action too. So let's move up to the Midwest. So it's gonna hit New Mexico and Texas first, and then remember it recombines with that trough that's bringing the cold air down, and then it's gonna hit the Midwest. Well, you guys are already getting some snow in southern parts of Illinois, some rain. That's gonna move through. That's not Winter Storm Mabel. Winter Storm Mabel moves in after this high. As you can see, it really does hang out around Texas for a day or two. And then it starts to hit Wednesday at about one o'clock in the afternoon. As you can see, it just comes up like a wave. Heavy snowfall rates from basically all the way from almost Iowa to Ohio. And then that's just gonna spread throughout the entire region. Really heavy snowfall in Indiana. I probably sounded pretty excited there because you don't often see a purple blob. That is just a bullseye of heavy snow right in Indiana. And then that's gonna move up through Michigan. Let's get back to right here. This is when the bulk of the storm is hitting. Big thing you see Heavy snow in Indiana, heavy snow in Ohio. That's like, that could be over half a foot to a foot of snow per hour. And then really heavy rain in the southern portions of those states. And that is hitting Wednesday night. So at about six o'clock on Wednesday, the bulk of Winter Storm Mabel is slamming the Midwest. And then that's gonna move through, you guys are in the clear by Thursday night. Let's look at why those snowfall rates are as extreme as they are. If, it, if Winter Storm Mabel were to hit right now, well, nothing would happen. 37 degrees, you'd get some rain. Yeah, 37 in Illinois, 37 in Indiana, 37 in Ohio. So it's a good thing that that trough was coming down before that low came up, because the trough brings down the cold air, and then the low brings the moisture and energy to give you some of those higher snowfall rates. So let's take a look. This is showing surface temperatures at Wednesday, Wednesday afternoon. As you can see, still very warm. And then what's gonna happen, those, that purple blob of Arctic freezing air is gonna start moving down. And you can see that purple air reaches all the way into Illinois, Indiana, right there. That's the bulk of it. Friday morning at about 7 a.m., it's gonna be freezing. Look at that in Wisconsin, negative 14, Minnesota, what's the best we can find, negative 20? Oh my gosh. Illinois, you're gonna be getting in the negative double digits. Indiana, you're at, I think best we can find is negative six. Man, makes me glad I live in California, but I do miss out on the snow. So if you are a snow lover, then you're gonna like this storm because that cold air is, it's there. And we know the low is going to come up and hit it. So when it does, what kind of snowfall rates are you looking at? So you can see, pretty significant. This is showing six to eight inches of snow, basically from Illinois all the way into Ohio. And based on that cold air and the fact that that low is going to have some moisture with it, I would say these are low ball numbers. I think Indiana and Ohio, you're going to have places with over a foot of snow. We'll have to check back on Thursday night to see if that actually comes true. Let's now move up to the Northeast because you guys are getting some of this too. As we saw in that big view of the whole country, look like you might actually get some good rates with this one. Right now, nothing but rain. And then through your Tuesday, that low moves through. It's now off the coast of Massachusetts. That one's gone, not much associated with that. Couple patches of snow on Tuesday. And then by Wednesday night, this is when Winter Storm Mabel has hit the Midwest, and then you guys are starting to see it on the very western side of your region. So you see basically all of Pennsylvania, especially the western side, pretty heavy snowfall rates. And then freezing, freezing rain by early Thursday morning. That means you guys are gonna have to watch out if you're on the roads. Luckily, that's at one in the morning, so hopefully not many people are on the roads. And if they are, hopefully they definitely have not been drinking. Thursday morning, let's click through. By the time you're commuting, the low has moved over Pennsylvania. Heavy snowfall rates in northern New York, northern Vermont, New Hampshire, and really heavy snowfall rates throughout basically all of Maine. And you see that freezing rain and rain into Massachusetts and Connecticut. 
you're doing the weather challenge, well, it looks like it could be a heavy rainfall day for Boston on Thursday morning. And then that moves through. So let's see what your totals are looking like for the Northeast. Right now, really nothing. A couple small patches, nothing to get too excited about. And then by the time Winter Storm Mabel hits on Thursday afternoon, this is at showing your snow accumulation by Thursday at about one o'clock. Well, as you can see, parts of New York in that bullseye, really the higher elevation regions, you guys could be in the five to eight inch range. And there's a nice strip of that heavy snowfall that goes from basically western New York up into southern Maine. You see those that white color? That means higher snowfall rates. That's gonna be in maybe the five to six inch range. And then the dark blues, that's gonna be like three to four. Pennsylvania, you're getting a piece of it on the northwest edge, maybe four to five inches, while the southern portions and basically locations near the coast, you're gonna be you're gonna be getting moderated by that warm Gulf Stream. So you're gonna kind of miss out on this one. But like I said before, this is looking a lot better than the early forecast models were showing. Early forecast models showed, showed an inch to two inch in northern parts of Maine. This is now showing five to eight inches, maybe a foot of snow in very isolated locations of New York. Something to think about. I'm gonna keep you guys updated because this is hitting Thursday. So I'm gonna have a forecast video tomorrow and Thursday morning, really diving in, showing you a better, better forecast because the models get more high resolution. One last thing I'll go over quickly is the Southeast. This is a big story right now because they're already flooded. Streams are just overflowing and rain is continuing. You see the low right over Mississippi, heavy rainfall rates in Mississippi. That one moves off and then lighter rates through your Wednesday. But then that big band of rain that's associated with Winter Storm Mabel, well, that's going to start hitting on Wednesday night to Thursday morning. See, it starts in Louisiana up through Mississippi, 0.5 inches per hour of rain. And then that's going to move through, luckily losing some energy towards Thursday morning. That's actually surprising because it's bringing in a lot of warm, moist air from the Gulf of Mexico. And I, I would say that's actually an encouraging forecast. It was looking a lot worse yesterday. I mean, that's still pretty bad, especially Wednesday night, Thursday morning from Mississippi, Alabama. That's some heavy rates, but at least Georgia and Florida, you're not really getting the bulk of this one. I'm gonna be doing forecast videos like this every day, so if you liked something in this video or learned something, you can subscribe to my channel to see more of my forecast videos. Thanks for watching.